So in this video, I'm gonna go step by step on how to create this super easy and simple beginner friendly makeup look. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So first, you always wanna make sure that you're starting with a good moisturizer. So moisturizer just helps the makeup application process so much easier. So if you're a beginner and you don't really know what moisturizer to get, I will leave a couple of moisturizers in the description box down below that are really good for all skin types. But I'm gonna use this e.l.f. daily moisturizer. So this is the Holy Hydrate hydration moisturizer moisturizer just helps your makeup go on so much smoother it takes care of your skin underneath the makeup to make sure that your skin is getting the proper nutrients it needs while you're wearing makeup moisturizer is not the same thing as primer because I know I get a lot of questions about that primer is more of a product that you would use when you're applying makeup and moisturizer is a product that you would use every single day with or without makeup All right, so after moisturizer you want to apply a good primer and with primer you just want to find a primer that suits your skin type I'll also leave good primers for all skin types in the description box down below but today I'm gonna to be using the Milani supercharged moisturizer so this is also a very moisturizing primer so primer is basically the protective barrier between your skin and your makeup so when you're wearing makeup you only want to apply primer when you're wearing makeup because it protects your skin's pores from being clogged and long term it's just really healthy for your skin so it's really really a great product to incorporate into your routine because it's going to protect your skin and it's going to make also the makeup glide on on your skin better so I really like this primer for dry skin because it's really moisturizing all right so after applying these products I usually like to let this sit on my skin for about five minutes just to make sure that my skin is really absorbing all the products I don't like to move right into foundation because I'll just be mixing these products with foundation so you want your skin to absorb the product first before you move on to the makeup all right, so next I'm just gonna add a little bit of glow onto my skin So this is totally optional, but I really like adding glow onto my skin because if I'm going for a very natural simple makeup look It just makes your skin a little nice and it gives it a nice glow So I'm gonna use the beauty pie triple beauty luminizing one So this is very similar to a liquid highlighter and I like to apply it on all the areas that I usually apply a highlighter Which is the highest points of my cheekbones and just a little bit on my forehead And you can blend this out with a beauty blender or you can blend Blend it out with your fingers. All right, so now I'm gonna apply foundation and I'm gonna use the NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation in the shade Mocha. So this shade is a little bit too dark for my skin. So I like to add in this shade right here, which is warm. So this is kind of like a shade shifter. So just in case your foundation isn't the perfect match, maybe you feel like it's a little bit too red or you feel like it's a little bit too neutral and you're of a warm undertone, I would highly recommend it using this hue shifter, which is for warm undertones by NYX Cosmetics. You can use this with any type of foundation. So if your foundation is too dark or it's not the perfect undertone, they have three different ones for different undertones that you can use to kind of shift that color. So I'm over warm undertone. I'm more so of a yellow. So I like to use this one, which is warm and yellow. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this with the foundation. Then I'm going to use the L face sponge to blend it out. So with this foundation, you definitely want to use a very, very small amount. I like to use just like one drop of the foundation because if you use too much it just won't work on your skin and it will start moving a little bit I think it's a very natural beginner friendly foundation because you don't need that much and you can kind of work around with the colors and the hue shifters just to get that perfect match so next I'm gonna apply concealer so for concealer you always want to select a concealer that is more so of a liquidy concealer I personally like using hydrating concealers because sometimes my under eyes are usually very very dry so my favorite is the elf hydrating camo concealer this one is perfect it has a very liquid texture it's not too thick so it's not going to crease under my eyes and the shade that I use is deep chestnut so with concealer I like to focus it like around this area because this is the area of my skin that has darkness and then I like to kind of drag it on the outer corner of my eye just to kind of give my eye that nice lift this allows me to use less product with the concealer so that it won't kick up under my eyes and it won't start moving and creasing so after that I like to take a damp beauty sponge and I like to just kind of press that concealer and blend it out and I like to just kind of lightly blend it out I don't like to completely blend it out especially if you have dark under eyes this will move the concealer and you'll see that darkness so you want to lightly press it under your eyes to leave that coverage of the concealer under your eyes alright so after applying the concealer you don't want to just leave it like this and set it with setting powder because you can still see the harsh lines from the concealer so instead what you want to do is 
is take your foundation sponge and you want to go over those harsh lines and blend it out so you want to make sure your concealer is completely blended and it looks like it's blending with your foundation before you set it with setting powder all right so next we're going to set the skin and you want to set all this oiliness so you don't look oily so that's what setting powder is for and I'm gonna use the Milani translucent setting powder in the shade 02 so before my setting my skin I like to dust off the excess of the setting powder and you want to do this to get rid of the excess and make sure that you're not caking up your under eyes because it could make your under eyes really dry and if you have oily skin you can use the translucent setting powder to set all over your skin but personally I don't have oily skin and I'm using a foundation that is not oily on the skin so I feel like this is good and I still want to give my skin that glow all right so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and for eyebrows I always use this Milani weekend brow in the shade espresso so this is a really good eyebrow product if you're looking for a really natural eyebrow look so what I like to do is I like to just kind of like draw small strokes through my eyebrow hairs to make them look really natural so first I like to start by using a spoolie to brush up my eyebrow hairs making sure that they're going in one direction you definitely want to do this so that you can see where you need to place that product and then using the eyebrow pen I like to just draw small strokes around the areas that are lacking eyebrow hair so while I do my eyebrows I do want to give a big thank you and shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this part of today's video for those of you guys who don't know about Skillshare or this is the first time you're hearing about them they are an ad free platform for learning new things so they offer many classes in different topics like photography art lifestyle and and language and they also offer new premium classes that launch each week so classes like the ultimate self-care playbook by Jonathan Van Ness a really really great courses to really help you recenter after like a really long week so I've been really enjoying those as well so I would highly recommend checking them out the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box down below and use my code LJ will get a one month free trial of Skillshare alright so I went ahead and just did an eyeliner tutorial so if you're interested in seeing that video you can check it out after this video but I just went ahead and completed my eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and apply eyelashes and I'm gonna use the Ardell Demi Wispies these are in the style 700 I love these eyelashes because they're super flattering and they're really really natural looking and they're also good for like smaller eyes and bigger eyes all right so now it's time to finish off the face and I'm gonna use this flower beauty pyramids blush palette so this this is like a blush and a highlighter at the same time I really like it because it gives you that glow it gives you that natural look and it's really nice for a simple makeup look you can wear this with or without foundation so I like to focus this on the highest points of my cheekbones where that highlighter is and you definitely don't want to place it below the highest points of your cheekbones because when you turn to the side that highlighter is going to be below right here which you want to avoid so I like to just focus it right where I usually place highlighter and then for my lips, I'm gonna line my lips with Chestnut by MAC. Then I'm gonna use the Revlon Glass Shine Lipstick in the shade Glazed Mauve. And this is a really pretty pink type of sheer lipstick and it's really nice for an everyday wear. And here we have it for this super simple beginner friendly makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs this video up if you found this video helpful. Also check out my next video over here. So in this video I show you guys how to create that perfect winged eyeliner. K -L -J, welcome to a channel where it's Bye.